Hey guys, so today I'm going to share with you step by step what I would do if I had to learn web development all over again from scratch. I recently graduated college as a software engineer and I've been a web developer for about two and a half years. I'd say that throughout my journey of learning web development, I've made good decisions along the way and I've also made plenty of mistakes. It can be a really confusing process to figure out what technologies to learn and in what order as there is so much out there and it's evolving constantly. So I'm making this video to help give you guys direction and so that you can have a clearer understanding as to what you should learn. Before we dive in, let's first provide some context so that you can better understand how the web works and the areas you can specialize in. Essentially, a website is just a bunch of files stored on a server that is connected to the internet. Whenever you use a browser like Chrome, Safari, or Firefox to look for a web page, the browser on your computer, known as the client, communicates with the server through the internet to get the files it needs so that you can see the web page on your screen and be able to interact with it. Developers that work on the code that runs on the browser or the client, so everything you can physically see, are known as front-end developers. Those that work on the code that runs on the server, so everything that happens behind the scenes and is still essential to the functionality of the website, are known as back-end developers. Finally, if you work on both the front-end and the back-end, you're then a full-stack developer. Before I start talking about specific technologies to learn, the first thing you should figure out is what code editor or IDE you're gonna use to write and edit code. My text editor of choice is Vim, but this might not be the best option for you, especially if you're just starting out, as it has a steep learning curve. In contrast, Visual Studio Code is an awesome editor that is free, powerful, and really popular amongst web developers. This would be my number one recommendation for you. Let's move on to the first technologies you should learn. I would recommend you start with the very basics, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. You can think of HTML as the foundation or the blueprints of a web page. It uses what are known as tags to describe exactly what is in a page. If HTML lays out the contents of a page, CSS in turn describes how those contents should look like. It's all about the style and making the page look good. Finally, you can think of JavaScript as the brains. It describes the logic behind the page and what should happen when you interact with it. JavaScript can be used to manipulate HTML and CSS. So for example, you could use JavaScript to change the background of the website whenever the user clicks a button. JavaScript can be used for so many things and it's gonna be the most important thing to learn out of these three. If you're an absolute beginner, it's gonna be your first introduction to coding and programming in general. Now that you've learned HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, a lot of the videos I've seen on this recommend you move on to a JavaScript framework. But instead of this, I would recommend you learn a backend programming language and figure out how to create a web server that stores and delivers HTML, CSS, and JavaScript files. You can use programming languages like Java, Python, and c -sharp to do this, but the most straightforward way would be to use JavaScript to write the web server as you've already learned the basics. With the introduction of Node.js, it's become possible to write web servers with JavaScript, and it's actually a really common thing companies do. It's also become a pretty straightforward process with the help of frameworks like Express. There's a really good and complete Node.js course on Udemy that has really helped me out, so I'm leaving a link to it in the description. After you've learned how to create a basic web server, you should then learn about databases and SQL. You should learn about how to store data in relational databases and how to connect the database to the web server. Once you do this, your web server can now create dynamic pages that get filled up with data from the database. Once you've learned these things, you're at a pretty awesome point in your journey and you can create some pretty complex websites. The caveat is that this approach to web development is pretty traditional and old school. To move forward into more modern web development, the next logical step to take would be to learn a front-end JavaScript framework. These frameworks are really popular and they're like steroids to your basic HTML, CSS, and vanilla JavaScript. There are three primary frameworks out there, React.js, Vue.js, and AngularJS, 
but this space is evolving constantly. React.js is the most popular front-end framework out of the three, and it's the one I personally know. One of the things I really enjoy about it is the community surrounding it, and that whenever I have a question or need to look something up when I get stuck, I can often find an answer online. But the decision of which framework to learn really comes down to you, the jobs you're looking for, your interests, and your goals. Front-end JavaScript frameworks often need to communicate with a back-end web server that is known as an API to retrieve, create, update, and delete data. So what I would recommend you do next is figure out how to create a web server API with the backend programming language you chose earlier, whether that's JavaScript with Node.js or other programming languages like Python, Java, c -sharp, or Ruby. There are two primary types of APIs out there, REST APIs and GraphQL APIs. REST is the more traditional and straightforward approach to APIs, so I would recommend you learn that first. GraphQL was created pretty recently by Facebook as an improvement to REST, so I would recommend you learn that next. I learned how to make REST APIs first, and I actually learned GraphQL pretty recently. I really do think they're gonna be a big part of the future of the web. So once you've learned all of these things, you're at a really good point as a web developer. I know it's a lot of stuff, and it took me a long time to learn all of this, but it is possible, you just gotta be patient and take it step by step. If you're just starting out, remember that there's a lot of other people in the same position that you are in, and I was once in your shoes too. All right guys, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like and drop a comment so that I can see your feedback and answer any of your questions. See you guys in the next one. Peace.